Hello, Bonner Springs. I'm Haley Hoffine, and I'm here with Jordan Jackson. We are going to tell you everything that is hip and happening this week in TP Talk. Hello, Braves. I don't think we have met all the new teachers. Let's go to Cheyenne for more. Hi, I'm Miss Hagen. Uh, where did you come from? I'm originally from Topeka. Um, I graduated from Topeka High, and then I moved to Lawrence for college. And I've lived in there, lived in Lawrence for about eight years. Moved to Kansas City for about a year, and now I'm back in Lawrence. What subject do you teach? Uh, I teach Earth and Space Science here at Bonner Springs High. Last year, I taught Biology at Washburn Rural High School. What is one of your biggest pet peeves? My biggest pet peeve is spinning in chairs, and that's because my classroom has these really tall chairs that spin. And aside from it just kind of being disorienting, as a teacher, you're standing in front of the room and kids are spinning, um, it's also dangerous. I'm afraid someone's going to fall off their chair. So I guess that would be my biggest pet peeve is spinning in chairs. Okay, thank you. Welcome to Bonner Springs, Miss Hagen. Do you know what the challenge of the week is? I have no idea. Let's go to TJ for more. Dang, those dance moves are kicking. Don't you think so, Jordy? Yeah, here at Bonner Springs, we can get down. Let's dance on over to Cass with the weather. This is the Weather Channel. It's going to be freezing cold all week, and it's going to snow. Just kidding. Overall, it looks like a pretty great week, with a high of 76 and a low of 51 tonight. Tomorrow will be sunny with a high of 77 and a low of 48. Sunday will be pretty warm with a high of 81 and a low of 50. Monday will be another butte with a high of 82 and a low of 53. And lastly, on Tuesday, it'll be sunny with another high of 82 and a low of 57. That's it for th this week. I'm Cassidy Holloway. Back to you, Jordy and Haley. Hi. You can't make it to the big ball game tonight? Life too busy? Or did your car break down? <laughs> Don't worry, because now you can watch the game from the comfort of your own living room. That's right, TP Talk Productions, in partnership with 810 WHB Radio, will be bringing you all the live play-by-play -play of your Braves home action. If you have a computer or access to the internet, you can easily watch all home football, boys and girls basketball, as well as graduation from the comfort of your home. Just go to usd204.net backslash live and click on the live icon. After a couple of questions, you'll be able to watch all the live action of your favorite sport. Best of all, it's free. Along with that, 810 WHB will provide a play-by-play -play announcer so that you can hear exactly what's been happening on the field. Now, before you do anything, make sure your computer has the latest version of Adobe Flash downloaded so that you don't miss any of the action. That's live streaming at its finest, so check us out at usd204.net backslash live and watch Bonner Springs Sports live today. This past July, the Bonner Springs High School football team lost one of their own. Brendan Castleman, a 2000 graduate and all Huron football team member, lost his battle with stage four melanoma. The Bonner Springs High School football team, along with the Booster Club, the Fire Department, and the YMCA are teaming up to raise money for a scholarship in Brendan's name. At the October 5th football game, we are going to have a tailgate party in the YMCA parking lot and selling t-shirts at a cost of $10 per shirt. So join us October 5th at David Jane Stadium as we celebrate Brendan's life. For some people, opportunity only knocks once, but at Bonner Springs High School, opportunities are endless with CTE. Career and technical education provides students with academic subject matter that is taught with relevance to the real world, as well as employability skills from job-related skills to workplace ethics. Bonner Springs High School offers many different avenues of study with career pathways that link secondary and post-secondary education. Why wait to launch a new career when Bonner Springs High School gets you jump-started in the right direction? Contact Student Services and speak to a counselor today. The weather is looking really nice for getting out and about this weekend. Let's go to Nathan and Kyle to see what's happening around town. 
Welcome to Out and About. Welcome back. We don't have a lot, but it seems like things might be picking up here shortly. Yes, it does. And to start it off, first we have Eric Church. And along with that, we have the American Royal Barbecue. And don't forget that the parade and rodeo are coming along with that, with the barbecue. That's true. I think Nathan's starting to get hungry with all this talk about barbecue, so time to wrap it up? When's lunch? I don't know. That's up to you. Welcome back to another movie review. I'm Cesar Diaz. Now let's get started. We know their stories. We fear their names. But we're about to discover where they go to rest in peace. Do not disturb. 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 Good morning, your eminence. Mate, clean this room up. Dracula, who operates a high-end resort away from the human world, goes into overprotective mode when a boy discovers the resort and falls for the Count's teenage daughter. Hello? A human? What is this place? Time travel has not yet been invented. But 30 years from now, it will have been. In 2072, when the mob wants to get rid of someone, the target is sent back 30 years into the past where a hired gun awaits. Someone like Joe, who one day learns the mob wants to close the loop by transporting back Joe's future self. Looks like there's a lot of things to keep you busy this weekend. Yeah, it really does. I'm not sure what I will do. Anyways, it was a busy week for sports. Let's bounce right on over to Weston for the latest. Hey guys, Weston Vitt here with another sports segment this week. Let's get started. Going back to Saturday, the boys cross country team placed third at the Ottawa Invitational. Austin Schuler again medaled with a strong third place. Others earning varsity medals were Joe Castile, Thomas Hook, Jake Wenzel, and Zach Quigley. On the girls' side, they ran well, placing fourth, with placers being Mandy Blue, Taylor Vandenhol, Tessa Newberry, and Silali Alvarado. The varsity volleyball team traveled to the Tonganoxie Invitational on Saturday. The team dropped a few exciting matches and beat Great Bend to finish the day at 1-4. Hayla Hoffine led all player with 25 kills and 5 aces. Julianne Jackson had six blocks, and Cassidy Holloway had 27 digs. On Tuesday, the girls bumped their way on over to Turner and went 3-0. On Thursday, the girls played at home and pulled out wins against Atchison and Schlegel. Good job, girls. On Monday, the boys' soccer team played Gardner Edgerton and had a tough loss, losing 10-0. Hopefully, the boys can bounce back and win their next game against Piper on Monday. In tennis yesterday, at the... Bonner Varsity Invitational. The team competed well but finished out of the top three. For team medals, the highlight of the tournament was the number two doubles final where Alexis Tindick and Sammy Weller played against Lansing in the championship and won the gold medals. Congrats, Alexis and Sammy. As you may know, there are also different hobbies out there that are sports related but not to our school. Let's go take a look at one. I'm a blocker, and that means like I skate around and hit people. So the whole point is to skate around in a circle and try and knock down the other jammer who's trying to score points, and you're trying to get your jammer through. So you play offense and defense at the same time, trying to stop their jammer but get your jammer through also. For three years. I practice at Winwood Skate Center and I have bouts at Winwood and I also have bouts at um, Municipal Auditorium. Thank you.
Thanks, Lauren, for that great information about roller derby. Now, going back to last Friday, the boys' varsity football team lost a heartbreaker against Piper, losing 29-23 to in overtime. They will play Mill Valley tonight at home. This is going to be a great and exciting game, so don't forget to come out and support the team. That's it for this week's sports. I'm Weston Vitt. Back to you, Jordan Haley. Great job, Brace. Keep up the hard work. Tonight, when our football team takes on the Mill Valley Jaguars, there will be an award ceremony at halftime. What are the awards for? Let's go over to Skylar and Anna for more. We're here with Mr. Hornback. What can you tell us about Academic Letter Night? Um, Academic Letter Night is an award we give for students that earn a 3.75 GPA or higher in both semesters of last school year. So we had 107 students receive that award um, that got that high of a GPA both semesters last year. So we recognize them with an academic letter, um, and um, that's what we'll be doing tomorrow night. This will conclude this edition of TP Talk. I'm Haley Hoffine. And I'm Jordan Jackson. Keep on keeping on, Bonner Springs.